Recently Steam come up with a brand new game changing feature that I haven't really seen a lot of people talking about and that is a built in game recorder inside Steam. This is not like your typical screen recorder like OBS or Nvidia Shadowplay. This built right into the Steam and it will automatically record all of your gameplay while you are playing and that makes it very easy to simply roll back and highlight anything that funny happens while you are playing the game and very easy to clip and share with your friends. This is a feature that we haven't really seen well implemented especially on the PC market. But but it's a very common and helpful feature that already implemented on PlayStation as well as on Xbox. And with this brand new feature, you don't have to press record every time you play the game. And also, you will never miss any important moments. Anything important happen, you can simply roll back and clip and share with your friends. And also, if you have a pretty low to mid-range system, you know how painful it is to record your gameplay. You always have to rely on a third-party software like OBS, which will take a significant hit on your CPU usage and it will definitely impact your performance while gaming. But now you don't really have to worry about that because steam is something that already running in the background and it will automatically record your gameplay and it will also only take a very little hit on your performance according to Valve. and also if you're playing on a device like steam deck this is going to be extremely useful because you don't have to rely on third-party plugins anymore and it is 100 steam deck compatible and right now this feature is only available on the beta client of steam and in order to get access to this feature right now you simply have to go to settings on steam and then go to interface and in here you will find client beta participant and then choose the second option steam beta update then it will ask you to restart steam and once you've done that you're pretty much good to go and now you simply have to open up steam again and go to settings and you will find the feature game recording right here it is also very easy to customize and set it up first of all you can simply turn off this feature if you don't like it at all then we got the record on demand which is basically you have to press a hotkey every time you want to record your gameplay it's just the manual mode just like every other recorder like nvidia shadowplay or obs if you prefer that way you can simply customize the hotkey to record your gameplay manually but the most important one here is to record in background it will automatically capture all of your gameplay while you're playing the game and simply store everything in your hard drive and you can change the length of your recording to 30 minutes hour two hours five hours pretty much any amount as long as you have enough allocated hard drive space for an example to record two hours of gameplay on 12 mbps high quality you will need at least 11 gigs of hard drive space and every time you change the setting it will automatically show you how much disk space that you need and you can change the quality of your recording 12 mbps is the default but i would say if you can you can definitely go for 24 mbps which is the maximum that you can go right now but if you have a pretty low end computer or if you don't have enough hard drive space you can definitely turn down the quality to medium or low but other than that just keep it at max on 24 mbps which is pretty decent quality for everyday gameplay recordings and also you can change the folder where you want to record your gameplay on the hard drive and also you can customize the shortcut key to add a timeline marker this is very helpful when you're playing like an open world game something interesting and funny happen you simply have to press that button in order to add a small little marker on your gameplay timeline so you can go back and check easily and clip it and share with your friends all right now i'm gonna test these features out while recording some gameplay on red dead redemption 2 so once you set it up when you launch the game it will start recording the game automatically and when you're in the game you can simply open up the steam overlay it will show you the timeline on top it will also show you all your timeline markers and you can easily clip and share with your friends or you can export and save it in your hard drive and for other valve games like counter strike and dota 2 they already implement a lot of the other features for an example when you're playing counter strike 2 it will automatically register all of your kills deaths bomb diffusers round wins and everything on the timeline which makes it extremely easy to highlight and clip all the important and funny moments and also once you're done with your playstation when you simply quit the game all of your recording will be automatically recorded in your hard drive and you can also easily browse through them directly through the steam so this feature will 100 work with every single steam games that you have on your library but i was curious to see whether it's work with any other games that is not available on steam for an example the games like fortnite valorant or x defiant is definitely not available on steam but the answer is a massive yes this feature basically works with every single game all you gotta do is simply add the game onto your steam as a non-steam game then simply launch the game through the steam and it will automatically start recording your gameplay then you can simply use the steam overlay just like any other steam game then you can easily access the timeline it will automatically show you the gameplay that is already recorded you can easily clip it and share it or export it into your hard drive and as you guys can see i'm recording the gameplay on x defined through the steam recorder and it just works flawlessly so going forward this is probably going to be my favorite way of recording gameplay for any game that you play on pc and as someone who making videos and recording gameplay more regularly i got 
100 plus gigs of recorded gameplay on many different games that I honestly don't have the time to go back and check everything to see all the highlighted important moments. But this way I can easily add timeline markers and clip all the important stuff directly through the Steam to my hard drive. Makes things extremely easy for me going forward. Even though this game recording feature is still on beta stage on Steam, it works flawlessly with pretty much all the games available. But I want to highlight some of the features that I feel like that they needed to add in the future just to make this a complete flawless experience. For an example, right now you cannot change the resolution of your recordings. It will automatically record the native resolution of the game running right now. For example, let's say if you're playing the game on 1080p, it will capture the gameplay on 1080p 60fps. There's no option for 1440p or 4K capturing. And right now you can only capture up to 60fps, which is good enough for most of the day-to-day -day recordings and also for YouTube videos as well. But Nvidia recently come up with a 120fps capture. It is much more smoother and I would love to see that feature implemented in the future. And also there is no option to change quality beyond 24 Mbps, which is good enough for most of the day-to-day -day gameplay recordings. But as a content creator, I would love to see more quality options and I'm hoping they will implement some of these features in the future, especially when they release the full version to the public. So finally, I gotta say it's really awesome to see something like that implemented, especially on the PC market. And honestly, it works really well right now. So if you haven't tried out this feature yet, definitely try out yourself. It will definitely come in handy when you want to record your own gameplay without any hassle so if this video helpful to you guys don't forget to go ahead and drop a like on this video and also subscribe and stay tuned and if you're someone who already using this feature right now definitely let us know down in the comment section i would love to know your thoughts and finally i will catch you guys soon in my next video stay safe